working? I think it might be working. Is it working? <laughs> What's up, dudes? What's up, guys? Back again. Just making sure it's working here. You know I haven't done a video in like 22 seconds, so <laughs> make sure it's working. Schooled. Just getting schooled. Number five. This is kind of a um, evolution on the pinnacle of Daiwa for the last, oh god, 10 years maybe? I don't know how long this reel's been out. It all started with this reel right here. It's a Daiwa Steez 103 OG Daiwa Steez. Um, this reel is mint. Great reel. JDM one. Um, it's got a little bit smaller handle, steez knobs, uh, steez on the side, steez um, here, steez here. Uh, I think it's got steez here. Where else does it have steez? Might have steez under there. It's got a lot of steez emblems on it, so you make sure that you know you bought a steez. Pretty cool. Awesome reel. Super light, five and a half ounces. They evolved into. Probably one of my, if not my favorite reel that I have. I've got three of these. I love them. They're my go-to jig, vertical ride reels. It is the Steez Limited. Badass reel in this kind of a chrome, black chrome, blue chrome. It kind of changes color in the light. Awesome reel. Bigger handle. Uh, very similar though. Same drag stars, knobs, cast controls. Um, the frames look very similar. It's just a little bit more porting on the Steez Limited. Big handle. This is a 6.3 to 1. This is an 8.1 to 1. This one also has brass gears in it. Super smooth. I use it for throwing um, my flipping jigs on my 7.45. I throw shaky heads on it. And I throw other jigs on it. I've got three of them. I love them. I just like that high speed. I like the palmability for my hands. It fits perfect on most of the rods I'm, I'm fishing. Um, they look badass. They're smooth. The brass gears, durability. Um, I like the small, you know, uh, drag star tension knob as well as a clicker. Again, this is an SV spool though. The OG is a 9SV. For me, my biggest gripe on this reel was the spool. Um, it was very touchy. It was really finicky. The one I had, I had it when it first came out. And I think I had it three or four days. And I sold it because the thing would blow up. It was just not as smooth casting through the range as I expected or I wanted. Um, and you can change that up with kind of the braking on the spool. The spool's a little wild. Um, I also swapped the bokehs on this as well. So it will smooth it out from when you're making a cast all the way. Um, it just makes it a little bit smoother. But that's why I love this SV because it is a skipping machine. I can skip my jigs. Um, it's a little bit shallower spool so I'm I'm loading up with like 25 pound of Brazex. Um and, and just pretty much use it for combat close close quarters fishing where I don't have to bomb a uh, jig. You know if I'm bombing a jig I'm using a different reel with a deeper spool. Uh, but this is probably one of my just absolutely freaking love this reel. Um it's just a it's just a pleasure to fish with and the handle size is great on it and the eight to one is great. Um, I thought about getting another one for tossing frogs, but I've got another reel that is actually lighter than this one. I think this one's like six point one ounces, six point two maybe. It's not bad. Um, the brass gears make it a little bit heavier, but it's worth it. It balances out and it's easy for me to palm. But this is the Daiwa Steez Limited. Retails for like $450, $500 maybe if you can find them. You can actually find them pretty used right now for like in the threes, low threes, maybe high twos. It really just depends on if you like a mint reel like this one or a little bit scratches and, you know, nicks on the side and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this is pretty good shape. I mean, it's probably a nine. I mean, it's got a little scuffs, but, you know, he uses it, so... Um, 
But for the price, you can find a used one for a killer right now. Especially right-handed ones. They're pretty much a dime a dozen. Dime a dozen. But these are a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit harder to, to come by just because you know, it kind of sucks being a lefty. You don't get the stuff right away, and they don't make nearly as enough. But smash that thumbs up, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. OG, OG Steez and a Steez Limited, both made in Japan, and we will talk to you guys later.